it's really nice to be able simply to be able to plan out with a client a, a strategy to move them forward um, about their future of the next 12 to 18 months, something clean and clear that isn't based in the past or having to expunge old issues, but we're at a point where that's been done, that work's been achieved, and now we've hit that plateau point where the healing's taking place and, and beginning to look to the horizon to new futures. And some of the exciting work can come in and when we're able to plan a bit more of what we're after, what we want to do with less compromise and less negotiation. Some of the themes that came from it were about how to be, you know, um, putting passion over practical or over passion over practicality. It's not easy always to fully grasp, but once you're in contact with what makes you happy, with your passion and then pursue that and keep on target towards that the practical nature of plans and say finances the economics of it all um, those come into place after and they will be attracted to the passion behind how, what you want to do and the, the technique is that I used was simply to imagine in 18 months time around Christmas time what they would be grateful for or, or appreciate or would like to see themselves in that point at Christmas having achieved over the previous 18 months. And it's great to be able to take that technique because we're looking to uh, disassociate from the now and focus onto the future and kind of the feelings we would like to have. And it's nice and we have what we populate inside that and the information we put inside that when it's given a blank bit of paper and sometimes we can get quite creative often what we do is going to get initially quite practical i want certain things items possessions um but it's looking to actually unpeel that a bit what's behind that what kind of feelings you want to have because there's the feelings which motivate so when we were talking it was really about looking to understand what were the passions what were the things that they needed to have in place what they look back on and say i'm really proud of achieving this really kind of linking those feelings and then the practical side of things that comes in very naturally very easily but once we're aligned to the passion they come in quite easily anyway so that was great from the session and that gave them some sort of plan some homework to go away with because what i like to do is say well this is the the the, the core structure we're working on you need to go away now and populate it with information some detail because so much of it is driven from them. This is not advice per se. This is more about how to bring out in them their creative resources, bring out in them their contact with who they are and what they want to achieve. And that is to be uninterrupted by my presence. It's something they can do as homework. And then we can return to it and then put together some sort of pieces. One of the things that was great to do, I find, is when we go for that view of the future this 18 month plan it's really interesting how we say okay we want to feel these certain things or see ourselves achieve these particular parts in our lives or these successes or these goals and once you've got that those kind of headlines the clouds as it were once they're in place it's kind of a question of something well asking yourself well what has to happen what's the one step before achieving that that has to happen if you are looking to buy a house or buying a property, what's the one step? So you've got that house, you're living inside it. What's the one step that's happened before that? And you also come up with a reply. And then you say, okay, well, what's the one thing that has to happen before that one? And you keep on working down the chain, working out the position from this clouds all the way down to the dirt of where you are now, what you actually have to go and do. And once you work through each of these steps, all you have to do is then from the right now, from the current, is start to retrace those steps back up to that original purpose, that original goal. And there you're going to find the kind of the key to some of the best coaching is when we are finding a pathway that's intrinsic to you, you um, that completely resides within you and it's your own choices. And it's simply your path towards it. It's a starting point. Most plans are ones which need to be really flexible, but it's a starting point. And it's a great way of taking this big general idea of how we want to feel, what we want to see ourselves doing, down to a specific action point. Right, after all we've chained, chained it back from that cloud down to where we are right now, this is the path we'll take. And then it gets exciting because we then map out a route to achieve it. Now, I always say things can change. 
um, events come in our path and our way. But as long as our, our, our passion, our, our, the way we want to feel, the way we want to see ourselves, if all that's wrapped up and that emotion is wrapped up, that becomes our North Star, the thing we follow. And how we get there, we need to allow a lot of flexibility and change towards that. But as long as our North Star is clean and clear and true to us and true to our nature, true to our identity, then we become quite unstoppable in achieving it. And I think that's case, cases are everywhere of that that happening. So if that's something I can bring and give to you, if you do have a particular goal or plan, and it seems like it's a, you know, it's a pie in the sky one, which is a great connection to the idea of clouds. If it's one of those cloud dreams you've got that seems too distant to touch, begin to understand a little more detail of what it means to you, what it is, and how it might formulate in terms of, you know, put bits in it, get more articulate on what it is. And then simply ask yourself, okay, what's the, before I get there, what's the one step before that? And then you can write that down if you want, or make a note of it. And then you say, okay, to get that point then, what's the next step before that? And then before that, and before that. And work out whatever chain you need to, to get to that step. And then we've taken this very grand, very um, sometimes impossible future for ourselves and actually made it into small achievable steps, taking it from the general to the specific. And once we get there, those steps are a lot easier to to make and to, to, to take. So when you do have a plan, think in those kind of terms, ask yourself those kind of questions, and it will at least give you some extra structure to work towards and to think about and ask yourself some better questions. And maybe that dream isn't so unachievable after all. Maybe that dream is a little more achievable than you thought. And, you know, this little exercise, super useful in doing that.